Okay, Molly, I'm going to do this video in two parts. Um, I'm going to start with the first four runs of the intro just to give you some of the chord runs. So this is the one that you heard better than I did. So the, the way to strum it with a full strum that feels kind of natural and rhythmic is... So it's... That's one way to do it. Now on the D I notice that the run is a little longer than I thought. So it's a D sus. And you can do a little hammer off on the G string. Pinky. Open G. It's quiet in the recording but it's there, but it's like. And then here she does a little run starting on the D string that goes O to G B. O to G B. So the intro B. to do that you can try doing that riff in this position and then you can even do a bit on that. Um, okay, and then um, a couple of the Harrison tricks that we talked about. So Harrison, I think it was capoed here. Um, C over G is just a C chord, with your, usually with your ring finger on the, that low G. This is the simplest, lightest one. This is the chunky one when you want a big, broad sound. This is um, a, a thinner, kind of sweeter sound, oftentimes with the pinky here, because you're coming from a G. So in the Harrison song, when you're doing it... this and it's like so that's so again uh, that's the trick on that tune and then the G sus4, we went over, a, we did like a sus chord review. So um, the simple susses are D, 4, 2, A, 4, no sloppy, 2, and E, sus4, no good sus2. But then on the C form chords, you have F, sus4, sus2, C. G is the only one we have two options for a sus4 because you have two beats. So you have a B on the A string and then an open B. So either one can go up to four. That's the low one or the high one. So folk songs tend to go at the end of a G phrase. That's all that's happening at the end of that Harrison phrase. Okay, check the other video for the